All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, let's just, okay, let's just start out by, let's go around in a circle and let's just have everyone introduce themselves. And uh, let's just start out by uh, saying your name, your full name, and say something interesting about yourself and where you're from, uh, everything like that. Okay, let's start with, uh, let's start with you right here. And then we'll just go around in a circle. All right. All right. Go ahead. Yes, you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Peter J. Uh, Delig Deligdish. Um, I'm from here, and um, something interesting about myself. Um, I don't know. I like I like drawing, mostly with pen and paper. I've tried drawing other ways before, but I don't know. Sometimes nothing seems quite as satisfying as just pen. I also like really short. Um, abrupt walks on the beach, sometimes longer walks depending on, on how heartbroken I'm feeling or just how, kind of how whimsical. I usually end up tracking um, kind of obscene amounts of the sand back into my car in my apartment and uh, hardly cleaning any of it up and the sand just kind of sticks around forever. And uh, some of my favorite foods are probably chicken wings, uh, sandwiches, um, spaghetti. I like pasta. I think do Canadians say it pasta? I think they do, but I like pasta. Sometimes I say it pasta, um, even when I'm not thinking about it. Sometimes I do say words differently when I don't think about it, and then I wonder why I said them differently when I usually say it another way. Um, I do like cheese-based pasta. I, po tomato base is okay, but I don't like plain tomato sauces sometimes. Like tomato soup is a difficult thing for me to choke down, even though it does seem warm and comforting a lot of the time. I remember one time when I was little, maybe like, maybe like seven or eight years old, one of the first times my mom served me tomato soup, uh, and it was so difficult because my mom and my sister, oh, they seemed like they loved it. They were just slurping it down and having such a great time at it, and I was just, I was almost gagging, and, it, and now looking back on it, I was like, Peter, why couldn't you have just eaten it? Why couldn't you have just enjoyed it? Like, sometimes you really want to like things, right? Like... Is it just, is it a mental thing? Like, why don't we like the things we don't like? Is it like something in, like hardwired into our uh, like taste buds? Is it something in our brain? And then sometimes we start liking things that we hadn't liked before. I don't know how it works. Is it just us being fussy, fussy little kids? What? I know, you know like I know my mom told me that when she was growing up, she didn't like watermelon just because her sister did like it and you know you know how siblings are with siblings i don't know now these days i do like celery a little bit more when i didn't like celery when i was little oh i, I can choke it down i can eat it i don't like go out of my way to get celery but uh i don't really like cantaloupe or its little watered down friend the honeydew melon but um but my favorite foods yeah chicken wings pizza i like pizza I'll even, I'll even, some people don't like pineapple on pizza. I will eat pineapple on pizza. You know, don't put, don't put pineapple on like pepperoni pizza or just a regular cheese pizza. I can eat them separately. Like a, I'll eat a good Hawaiian pizza, but don't, don't like mix. They, they have to be like separate pizzas, you know, don't, don't, you can split pizzas half and half, you know, like people can't decide which kind of pizza to get, you know, as a group, and they're like, yeah, let's just split them half and half. Don't put a pizza on half of a pizza. I mean, don't put pineapple on half of a pizza. It never works out great. The, the juices they mix, it's not good for you. It's not good for the pizza or you. Um, I also like, uh, I, I like Chinese food, Asian food, probably very Americanized stuff, like dumplings, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Anyways, that's just a little about, about me. I'm a pretty simple guy. Um, I spend a lot of my life trying to get, um, to make things simple for myself and uncomplicated, um, but I probably go to s kind of um, complicated lengths to try to make things simple and uncomplicated for myself. So it's probably a little bit um, hypocritical or unreal. It's probably silly of me. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, but come up and ask me if you have any questions. I'll be glad to, uh, you know, I have lots of excuses for everything. So just let me know. And I'm pretty good at coming up with excuses on the spot. 
and dodging questions. I'm I'm an I'm an expert question dodger. Like you ask me one thing and I'll kind of if there if you ask me one question, there's like an implied question next to that question and I'll answer that question instead. So I'm good at doing that. So yeah. So maybe if you want your question your actual question answered, actually ask the question next to that one. And maybe I'll choose the the one you wanted. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I'm uh, getting, I'm excited to you know get to know you guys uh, over the next few months and uh, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. And I'm from I'm from here. Did I say that already? Okay. See you guys later. I mean, uh, you're you're next, dude. All right.